Hello guys, in this video I want us to do tree diagram on how to form a tree diagram from, uh, from any of the selections that you might be given. So let's have an example. Let's say in a box we have four, four black balls and we we'll have two red balls. Then we want to want to select one ball at a time, but we want to make it two pigs. Selecting at random. So what we need to do here, we have the first starting point, which is this point. Let me mark it here. So in total, we have four plus two plus three. This is equal to nine balls in total. So in this case, we are selecting without displacement. Let me mark it this side. Select with no replacement, which means if you pick in that ball, you are not returning it into the basket. You just pick it, then you pick another one. So. We get the first pick. It's either you pick a, a red ball or a white ball or you pick a black ball. Let me mark it here. So the probability of picking a white ball. How many white balls we have? There are three. Over the total number of balls, it's nine. For red, how many red balls do we have? We have two. Over total number of balls, which is nine. And for black balls, this is four over nine. So this is the probability for the first pick. It's either you pick a black ball, red ball, or white ball. Now let's see the second pick. Second pick, either you pick a black, or you can pick a red or a white. So the probability of picking a black ball, it is equal to, now let's say one ball, black ball is gone. So we'll be left with three balls over eight, because one ball is already gone. So I left with eight balls in the basket. So for red, we still have two over Eight. For white, we still have three balls over eight. Because we said in this case, we are assuming that you have chosen the black ball. So the number of red and white remains the same we have for this side. Then, assuming you pick the red ball, this is red, this, oh sorry, this is black. This is red, this is white. So the probability of picking a black ball here. Uh, how many black balls we have? We have four black balls, so this will be four over eight. Then probability of picking a red. At first pick, you have chosen the red ball, but at the second pick, now we are left with one ball, which is the one red ball, so we have one over eight. Then for a white pick, uh, you have 3 over 8. Now let's have, assuming you have chosen the, let's say you have chosen the white ball. So this is this is black, red, white. So picking a white ball, first you pick the you pick the a white ball, which was three over nine. So now we're left with two over eight. Here we have two over 
for repo because we had repos, two repos at the beginning so we still have two over eight then for black balls uh, we left with four over eight so from here this peak which follows this line is black black we are assuming you had the first peak you have cho chosen a black ball and then the second peak is still another black ball then this one is black red and this one is black followed by white this one is red followed by black this one is red followed by red then here we have red followed by white and here we have white followed by black white followed by red and white followed by another white so those are the probabilities that we can get so the probability of black black of picking a black a block a black ball followed by another black you multiply these two uh, which is 4 over 9 plus 3 over 8 Uh, this gives us 4 times 3 is 12. So this is 12 over 72. So if you have a calculator, it will simplify those, those fractions. This one becomes 8 over 72. Then this one, it becomes 4 times 3 is 12 over 72. This one is 2 over 9 multiplied by... 4 over 8, this uh, then it turns to 8 over 72, then followed by 2 times 1, this is 2 over 72, then here this is 2 times 3, 6 over 72, then uh, here is 3 over 9 multiplied by 4 over 8, this is 12 over 72, which is equal to 3 over 9 multiplied by 2 over 8. This is 6 over 72, which is equal to 3 over 9 multiplied by 2 over 8. It's 6 over 72. So these are the probabilities that we have. So if you want to check that you are correct, what you have done is not wrong. If you add all these probabilities, they must give you one. Let's confirm. This is 12 plus 8. We are adding the numerators since denominator is the same. So we can just add numerators. 12 plus 8, we get 20. 20 plus 12, we get 32. 32 plus 8, we get 40. 40 plus 2, 42 plus 6, which is 48. 48 plus 12, uh, it gives us 60. Then 60 plus 60, 66 plus 60 is equal to 72 over 72 which is equal to 1 this means our tree diagram or our probabilities are correct now let's see the question might ask you calculate the probability of selecting of selecting at least Probability of selecting at least at least one red ball. So this one, what we do, uh, we can check where we don't have any red ball. So we have. W is okay. six over seventy-two. Then here, so we have red ball here. Red, 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 red. So we need to add those probabilities. So this is eight over seventy-two uh, plus. Another red ball 
it here 8 over 72 plus another one for red red it's 2 over 72 plus then 6 over 72 which is red red uh, it's sorry it's white red then we add the expo the numerators 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 2 which is uh, 18 plus 6 is 24 over 72 you can simplify it this will be 1 over 1 over 3 that's the probability of picking at least one red book at least one it means you have chosen one or more